All right, guys, oxtails and gravy. All right, so I started out by rinsing these things, putting them in some vinegar water for a little bit, and then rinse them clean, pat them dry, seasoned them up, salt, pepper, a couple other seasonings, and flour. That's what they look like once you season them up. I'm gonna start to brown them in this Dutch oven here, a little olive oil down in the bottom. Then I just put them in there, and I'm gonna just brown them on each side, just like this, you know what I'm saying? Because that browning creates all kinds of flavor that's gonna render down into the juices and everything that the oxtails are gonna cook in. So once that's done, I place them in the crock pot like so, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. Then I cut up some veggies. I got some onions and some uh, uh, the tricolor bell peppers. And um, what I'm gonna do now is just brown a little bit of garlic in the same pan that I cooked the oxtails in. Same grease, that's why it looks like that. And remember to cut your vegetables up kind of thick because they're gonna be in a crock pot with the oxtails for a while. So you wanna really see those and get those whenever you go to eat them later on. You wanna be prominent in your gravy, so that's why they're so big. And I cut the onions the way I did in these big triangles because I just think that just, you know. So once you brown those up, you're gonna just put them over those. Don't brown them forever. You don't wanna cook them all the way down because you definitely want them to show up in the end. So I just kind of just get a little bit of color on them, create more flavor, you know what I'm saying? Then put them over the oxtails like so. Now, after that's done, we're gonna create our gravy. So just start with the same oil that's in there. You might a little bit more. I missed the video where I added the flour, but I added probably roughly about a cup of flour in there. If not, it was a little less, a little more, but I'm gonna add even more to this. See, that's what I'm doing right here. So I'm just adding a little bit more flour in there because you want this roux to kind of be kind of thick. Most and um, you want to, uh, yeah, just kind of make kind of a lot. You want it to get thick, but yet, um, you know, not too clumpy. So that's why uh, I'm doing what I'm doing. You just want to constantly whisk that around because if you stop, that's when it starts to clump up and you don't want that because your gravy won't be velvety smooth like you want it. So you don't want this to break. So the secret to making any roux is to keep on whisking. Now I did this for a while because I wanted to darken it up because we are making something, a gravy for some beef and you want a dark roux on it. So then I'm going to constantly kind of whisk this around, get all that goodness off the bottom of the pot. You know, you can see it start to darken up. I have my flash on so maybe you don't see it as well. After that, I just add in some beef broth little by little. This is, um, I uh, use the uh, all natural beef bouillon cubes. It doesn't have any MSG or any other, you know, additives in it. This is, um, that's what this is. And you just add in little by little. You don't want to add too much. You just want to uh, keep whisking until you get the consistency that you want, which I want it to be kind of thick, not too thin, because it's going to thin out when you put it in your crock pot and let it cook with the oxtails. The oxtails are going to go for roughly six, six and a half hours, just depending on when they're at the tenderness that we want. So this is the consistency I was looking for. See how smooth it is, nice and velvety, you know, no lumps, you know, that's from the constant whisking and you know, not really letting it sit. If you let it sit, it'll clump up and your bravery will break and you just have an oily, nasty looking gravy. You see that? Velvety. You're gonna pour it right over the oxtails and veggies, just like that. And then you're gonna um, pretty much just put a lid on it. This is what it'll look like first. That's all you need to do. You don't need to stir it around, just put a lid on it. And then check it every now and then. When you come back at the end, toward the end, give it a stir. You see how it thinned out, nice and brown. And this is your end product. I put it over some um, some egg noodles, kind of like a stroganoff. And um, there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the move. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag 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 hashtag, hashtag the cannons CCTV. guys welcome back to our eating show yeah. all right guys today we're back with another mubang of course and today guys we will be having some oxtails and gravy guys over some uh nice egg noodles kind of like a stroganoff of sorts <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyway guys i'm gonna get all into that but before we do then it's gonna hit you with a couple things if this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up, like it. 
That's right, guys. Hit that button. Hit that bell. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you become a member of this channel. We would love to love to have you here at Hashtag The Candace. Guys, remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag The Candace moving closer to our goal of 25,000 subscribers. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Of course, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pray so that we can eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourished to our bodies and bless those, Lord, who are less fortunate. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Hey, man. Oh. Mm. Uh, so today, guys, we got, like I said, some um, oxtails and gravy. I'm going to have the recipe video up with this. And also, guys, um, we have some oh, some egg noodles. That's what we have under it. Guys, also, we have some um, garlic toast that I make here. It's made with a uh, cream cheese uh, garlic butter. I will have the ingredients for that uh, recipe in the description box just in case you need it or you want it because I know a lot of you guys do ask for things like that. So it's a real easy, real simple. You just put out all the grease in the bowl, whip, whip, whip. Anyway, that's that. Time to eat. All right, so as you can see, these guys are very, they're fork tender. See, if, if you might get a little miss him because I'm going in with my hands on. But, uh, ooh. Hot it. <laughs> but <laughs> these are thing down. you know ooh like that see just pull it off like that mm. and so the bone mm -hmm. get exposed so yeah Good. I'm just gonna get some of the meat off of them like that Y'all the first bite before I bite it. Mm. So Y'all can see it. Huh? Mm. It's delicious. Just one of the smaller of the oxtails. Mm. Mm, yeah, all my nose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Too hard. Bread time. <laughs> mm. Yeah. When you eat a clean of ice bone, it'd be so buttery <laughs> and good. Frisk on deep. <laughs> Probably blended in with the green screen. It's so good. What? The, <laughs> the toast? rest of the everything. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm. It's wide. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. It's really comforting. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this will be my third oxtail recipe I'm giving y'all. Because you can do a lot with oxtails. You don't have to cook them the same way every time. They're really like another cut of beef, but... They're very versatile. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got a couple more ways I can cook them. Mm -hmm. and you can eat them with so many things. You don't have to. You can do them with gravy, without gravy. You can do them. As a stew, you can do them on their own. Just real simple. I'm gonna put some hot sauce. You don't need no hot sauce. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Shake it. You gonna you gonna have, I'm gonna have a lap full of noodles spoon with you tonight. <laughs> hey, that wasn't me. That was you. That was not. You I had mine up. up here. I knocked it. You mm -hmm. got something in your beard. No. Uh, I knocked it off earlier. <laughs> and that one. Uh uh, I had it up here. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna see more of my wife's beautiful countenance. Mm -mm. I had to get lifted up, honey. I needed a high chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was spilling too many noodles. It's a little centerpiece right there. I knew, I knew you were gonna say something. That little, hold on. That little button. Be like Not a, a button. Be like a little buttery. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like we ain't had oxtails in a while. We haven't. They're high. Mm -hmm. They're sky high right now. Who want to hire me? Private chef. Because <laughs> somebody else needs to experience this. I, ain't, I don't like talking myself up, but. <laughs> What's that? AJ and I are watching the Soldier Boy and Bow Wow versus in the car while waiting for Rama, and it brought back so much, so many memories. Did it not? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like nostalgia. <laughs> I said Bow Wow had to remind everybody he got hits. Forgot about how many he had. Mm -hmm. So boy made it way longer than I thought because I'm like crank dead. Mm -hmm. Crank dead. Marco Polo. A shootout. Everything from the same album. Stop it. 
then as of that album he came out with. And then he did the one, the blah blah. We made it, but you, you he ain't really have a verse. I was playing same songs. That's really Drake song, ain't it? Mm. And the GG we made it. <laughs> I don't even remember Soldier Boy being on there, but that's him. I didn't know it was him till they said it was. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. He was on the hook. I had no clue. I ain't either. I tell you, these are good. I'm succulent. I'm getting full. I am. Oh, so quick. Mm. Uh-uh. She's like, I don't want to over. They also beat. Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm glad I've always, I'm going to say always, but I'm glad that I became open at an early age to experience different foods and different mm -hmm. things like that, and not just be limited to the stuff that I was used to. Right. Because if I, I mean, I mean, oxtails are one thing, but like, you know, I'm just saying there's a lot of other stuff that, you know. I, you know, might not have experience if I just have was kind of closed minded to food. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, it's nobody's fault. You know, people just grow up used to what they used to. If, if you used to eating this and you don't really eat a variety of things and some stuff just seem like, nah, nah, bro, <laughs> I want this cause this is what, you know, mm -hmm. and you never know what you're missing out on because They tell you find 21K in the subway bathroom. What you doing with it? Eating fresh, but not there. <laughs> uh -huh. This lady returned it. She called the police and <laughs> gave it back. Now look. I had to do a lot of interceding. If lot the of bank got 21K in your account, you know, that's traceable. But man, listen, I've always prayed that if I find the envelope, Please, Lord, let it just be a, a wad of money just on the ground and I just mm, walk them back. I don't know. Don't know uh, money trust be open in front of me or nothing. I should be getting regular L. All right. Just give me it's, money, And I be reading all these stories, man. People finding this cash. Know. And, you know, one time a dog on, uh, I think a money truck, like, blew open on the interstate and blew out, like, it was Loomis or something. hundreds of thousand dollars in cash. Bad, bad. People was outside grabbing for the... I oh. would have told my brakes up at my neck to get out of that car, okay? Pick up all that little change. Give me that change. And I'm like, why? <laughs> Where was I at? This I know. Is, this is not Wasn't it fun. in Atlanta? It was, I feel or like... Or Georgia was, or something. I said, Lord... I could have just... I feel like it was definitely nearby. <laughs> I'm just like... Uh, 
I need a blessing right now. I see what you're doing right. for others. Lord, please do it for me. This lady gone. Don't do it without she me. She immediately returned the money, right? Yeah, she, well, she actually called the police. She didn't tell Subway. She called the police and said it was, she found 21K in the bathroom. And, um. <laughs> French and Will Tom. Um, she found 21K in the bathroom and she wanted to return it mm -hmm. to the owner. So apparently the owner was on their way to get their money. Because I guess they realized they ain't had. But they would have seen the smoke from my car because I would have been gone. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'd have been, he'd have been out of that little money. It ain't a little bit, but he'd have been out of it. 21k. I mean, it ain't it ain't life changing, but I it'll mean, put me somewhere else. I mean, you can go ahead and you can get a new vehicle, right? <laughs> if you want to, or you can just pay out some bills, or you know, like I'm saying, you can pay if you rent, you can you rent, you can pay your rent up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pay your lease up. 21k. I could I could use 21k right Honey, now. Honey, if I found hundred dollars, it was a hundred more than I had. Right. You tell me. <laughs> I be geeked over. I okay. A, I be geeked when I find my own money. Two months later, I find a uh, I put on a pair of shorts I ain't worn two months, and then I got wash with a five dollar bill in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, good boy! Well, look at the blessing <laughs> that you bestowed upon my me. own money. <laughs> boy, I mean, I can't imagine. But see, see, I be like, when he find a lot of cash, especially that much. You be looking around. That's why I would be concerned. Is there a camera? Is someone testing my character? Because I'm about to fail. Right. <laughs> if this ain't if this F getting a cool F, like I'm done. If this if this money ain't real, or if y'all um uh, y'all just doing the show, I guess I mean they're just about to see. <laughs> they're about to see that I ain't uh that I'm not that. And one I'm gonna go up there and get the marker from. Excuse me. I know this may be an odd request. I'm going to fake money to see if you take it. <laughs> I know this may be an odd request, but can I see your marker? Right. <laughs> I just need a marker 20. Just get this right here. I mm -hmm. feel like, let me say something. You ever been in the store and somebody, because look, that marker, I feel like is the... Uh, you in that market. That's the tester, right? Now, I'm not offended if I hand you a $100 bill or a $50 bill, even a $20 bill. Even though I feel like, why is you trying to check my $20 bill? <laughs> like, it's $20. Like, I feel like you're trying to say I'm, I don't look like I can. But anyway. Stop that. If it's a big bill and you mark it, I'm not mad because I know that's what you have to check. Because I used to work at, a, uh, when I worked at Walmart when I was in college, there, there was a, um, there was a time to where somebody came in the store twice. With counterfeit hundreds and made out of there with mm -mm. with the product and the cashiers did not check it and it was like I was all over that. But anyway, so I can understand why if you check it with the marker. But one time I was in the store and um, I had been to the bank and I was just paying with cash because I knew what I was going to get and I just wanted to pay with cash. So I was like, and so um, the cashier is going to. First of all, look at my hundreds. It was like three of them. She's gonna look at them in the air forever. Then she proceeds. I don't even know what she's looking for. To mark them. I'm like. This is excessive. No, well, I think she marked them first. Either way it go, I'm like. Uh, if they if they fake, they come. I'm like. You're doing too much, and right. I feel like you like, what, man? And then it, it comes to a point to where I'm not easily offended by little things. I know some people are. What? But, like, uh. Honey, she did that money. I'd have been <laughs> like, uh, you, do you see it? It's a band up there. You must not know what you're they, looking for. Um, can be really quick to be like, mm -mm. Like, she feel, and I'll be like, <laughs> I am I'm not, more of a little to get her nope. better. Let I'm, me give you the benefit of the doubt. I stay real, ready. Real quick. Let me, let me. But like, I mean, at that point, you know, I was starting to become offended, and I'm just like, and then you proceed to go through this with all of them. Like, I mean, come on now. Like, like that that had me low key hot. So for the rest of that transaction, 
You better be I was I had evil eyes yeah. and I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't say anything because I just feel like you know, but I stay ready. I feel like that I was O D and too much. Like you I'd know have what asked I mean? her, do you not know what you are looking for? It's the band. Do you see the band up there? The band, it's the big fine. face in the corner. It's like fine. it's you know, it's you got you got oh. <laughs> when they made those because these were new hundreds. These uh -huh. were these was or these was the new ones. It's like these ain't the old ones. Like they look like a monopoly. They're not so easily to you know counterfeit. You got right. the hologram and stuff on there. You got a lot going on. You got the the band facing the corner to mm -hmm. everything going on. So I'm just like you are doing too much and you wasting my time right, right now. And if I come out of my neck uh -uh. and act like what you expect no, me to act no. like. <laughs> No, no. I'm gonna be upset. You gonna be like, oh, "This is my <laughs> job. Check to make sure that the can't." But nah, you're doing too much, bro. And uh, you know, I'm like, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that. But uh, that's just a little sad, <laughs> little sad story. You know what I'm saying? A little some some sad, but ooh. I'm gonna ask you this question, and then we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. So when I was watching the BET Awards yesterday, I was like, they're not what they used to be. Like they're not as entertaining to me is there like some event that has happened in the past on the BET Awards that like sticks out in your mind like when we was in high school or middle school or something yeah when they were doing the us a couple oh man <laughs> it was that time where they did uh the OJ's tribute and Don uh Cornelius was on there and he was just talking all day and they was like uh, cause he was like he was like introducing them. I think they were gonna perform or he was gonna introduce the people that were gonna honor them. I can't remember which one. And he was like up there all day and then he put his hand in his pocket like, yeah, and uh and so and so and they just like done, like, come on, like what you doing? And then I remember the next day somebody called in on the radio and was like it was like, I just want to know if whenever they shut that building down and they uh, turned off all the lights and, <laughs> and checked to make sure everything, did they make sure Don Cornelius wasn't still standing up there at that microphone? <laughs> like, and then, what else? It was a couple. Oh, yeah. Was it the BET Awards when they, uh, when they, uh, was it Frankie Beverly and Maze? Yeah. And uh, he couldn't hit them notes no more. Ah! And he was like, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> he came out there, he was like, ooh, 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 ooh. and then I think, was it, who was it, Tank? Was it Tank? Let me tell you what sticks out in my mind. The only thing that I can remember is Fantasia and Jamie Foxx kissing, and I wanted to throw up. Because it was nasty. I had some good BET moments. Yeah. I was saying, they, they, they be kind of dry used to now. Be, they used, a lot of people think they recovered this year, but I'm just like, it was okay. Uh, but I mean. It was okay. It was long and they drove, they drove it out. Like, it was long. I felt like long. I was like, wanting it to be over already. <sighs> it was, I felt like it was wanting to be over already. Yes. I was like. And you know, I'm just. I'm ready to go to bed. You know, as much as I like, you know, certain rap music. I like rap music, but I'm just like, I'm tired of rap performances. Like that don't like give me nothing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is up there. I feel like a Kendrick performer gives me something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you know what I'm saying? Like a, a J Cole performance gives me something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as entertainment wise, otherwise I'd rather just listen to the song and not look at you because right. I'm just tired. Of <laughs> like it's drunk. just like you know they be trying to be too cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just like oh. So I'm, they want them to pop I'm about to put out. I'm about to put some of these rap performances in the category with some of these uh pop and country songs that uh, I skip through whenever I be watching uh, whenever it's like the MTV awards. Right. I watch them. I will be more skipping than I'm watching. Right, but um, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I'm not horrible. No. I mean, no. I, it's been worse. I uh. Two about two years ago it was terrible. Yeah. About said some choice words. Then last year it was virtual, so it wasn't right. like you know they Weird. were just showing different performances. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, they call like that. What was yesterday? What Sunday? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. What's that? It's twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay, yeah. So it, it's always like on June twenty eighth. But yeah, I mean it wasn't horrible, but no. You know. 
But like, yeah, but like, um, back to that Frank, Frankie Beverly. Uh, when when them other boys, I don't know if it was Usher, Tank, Gene Wine, Ray J. I don't know who came out. It was two of them. When they uh, Trey Songz, was one of them. They tried to come out and help him. He was not happy. <laughs> He was like, this is my song. Y'all need to come back. I'm not all focused. <laughs> and I'm just like, bruh, you struggling. Shut up. You can't even do your whoa, whoa like you used to. <laughs> it's okay. Let them young boys help you so we can get through this thing and move yeah, on. No, I got it. <laughs> and then I feel like, you know, I, you can get tired of it. I feel like they put Yolanda Adams on the uh, BT Awards every year. They did. So you can, get kind of, you can get kind of tired of her. But I really did like her, was it the Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston stuff? Tribute when she passed. I think so. That was pretty good. But anyway, guys, we're running out of time, so I want to thank you guys for joining us today. We really do appreciate it, guys. Remember, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Guys, remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and also drop a comment down below so we can interact with you in the comment section. Remember to share this video. Share it out because sharing is caring. You care about us. Care about us. Anything else? No. All right, take us out of here. Bye.